Good day kids! Welcome to our new normal classroom! I am your virtual teacher and I'm here to teach you math. So before we start, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe button! So for our lesson for today, we're going to discuss about types of decimals, terminating and repeating decimals. So this is for our grade 6 students. How do we determine if the decimal is terminating or repeating? Let us define what is a terminating decimal. Terminating decimals, a decimal number that contains finite number of digits after decimal point. When we divide the numerator and denominator, we will not have any remainder. Okay, for our example, we have 3 all over 15. How do we convert a fraction to decimal? Diba? Didivide natin yung at numerator sa ating denominator. So, 3 divided by 15. Now, can we divide 3 to 15? Bawal, ba? So, gagawin natin siyang decimal. So, maglagay tayong decimal point sa taas, then 0. 30 divided by 15 is 2. 2 times 15 is 30. 30 minus 30 is equal to 0. So, our decimal here is 0. 0.2 So, bakit nga ba siya naging terminating decimal? Kasi, nagtapos na kagad siya kay 2 nung dinivide natin. Mapapansin nyo, ang remainder niya ay 0. So, therefore, 0 0.2 is a terminating decimal. Other example, we have 5 all over 8. So, let's divide ulit. Another example for terminating decimal. So, we have 5 all over 8. So, si 5 siya yung ilalagay natin sa loob ng division bar. Then, 8 sa labas. So, since bawal natin i-divide si 5 kay 8, maglagay ulit tayo ng decimal point sa taas. Then, 0. 50 divided by 8 is equal to 6. 6 times 8 is equal to 48. 50 minus 48 is equal to 2. So, kapag merong remainder, we can add 0 pa rin. So, 0 dun sa ating dividend. So, 0, ibababa natin sa baba, magiging 20. 20 divided by 8 is equal to 2. 2 times 8 is equal to 16. 20 minus 16 is 4. Oh, let's add again another 0. So, bring down 0. 40 divided by 8 is equal to 5. 5 times 8 is equal to 40. 40 minus 40 is equal to 0. So, wala nang remainder. So, 5 over 8, kapag kinonvert natin siya into decimal, we will have 0 0.625 thousands. So, this is our terminating decimal. Another example, 9 all over 20, si 9 yung nasa loob ng division bar, then 20 yung nasa labas. So, let's add again another decimal point and 0. 90 divided by 20 is 4. 4 times 20 is equal to 80. 90 minus 80 is equal to 10. So, pwede pa tayo maglagay ng 0. So, bring down 0. 100 divided by 20 is equal to 5. 5 times 20 is equal to 100. 100 minus 100 is equal to 0. So, 9 over 20, kapag naging decimal siya, we have 0 and 45 hundredths. So, 0 and 45 hundredths is a terminating decimal. How about the repeating decimal? Repeating decimals, a decimal number that has a digit or blocks of digits that repeat over and over again. So, ito, umuulit siya na umuulit. Okay, halimbawa, for our repeating decimal, 1, 9. So, si 1 yung nasa loob ng division bar, si 9 yung nasa labas. So, 1 divided by 9, hindi pwede. So, gawin nating decimal, lagay tayo ng decimal point and 0. 10 divided by 9 is equal to 1. 1 times 9 is equal to 9. 10 minus 9 is equal to 1. Let's add another 0. So, 0 ulit. 10 divided by 9 is also equal to 1. 1 times 9 is equal to 9. 10 minus 9 is equal to 1. Anong mapapansin nyo? Paulit-ulit lang siya, ba? Kahit dagdagan pa rin natin siya ng 
another zero. So, ang sagot niyan is 0.1111111 and so on. So, repeating decimal siya kasi infinite naman yung numbers ng ating decimal. So, we can write it as 0.1111. 1, then merong guhit sa taas. Ano nga ba ang tawag natin dun sa guhit sa taas? Tawag natin sa bar na nasa taas is the vinculum. Another example for repeating decimal, 5 all over 6. So, si 5, siya yung nasa loob ng ating division bar, then si 6 yung nasa labas. Again, hindi pwedeng i-divide si 5 kay 6, so we will put a decimal point and another zero. 50 divided by 6 is equal to 8. 8 times 6 is equal to 48. 50 minus 48 is equal to 2. Let's add again another 0. So bring down 0. 20 divided by 6 is equal to 3. 3 times 6 is equal to 18. 20 minus 18 is equal to 2. Then bring down 0 again. Naglagay ulit tayo ng panibagong 0. 20 divided by 6 is equal to 3. 3 times 6 is equal to 18. So, kapag dinire-diretsyo natin siya, ang sagot lagi, meron lagi tayong remainder na 2. So, therefore, 5 over 6 is equal to 0.833. Saan tayo maglalagay ng vinculum? Dun sa tapat ng 3 saka 3. Kasi sila lang yung umuulit. So, therefore, 5 over 6, kapag kinonvert natin siya into decimal, we will have a repeating decimal. Other example, 5 thirds. So, si 5, ilalagay natin si 5 sa loob ng division bar, then si 3 sa labas. 5 divided by 3 is equal to 1. 1 times 3 is equal to 3. 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. So, may remainder gawin natin siyang decimal. So, point, lagyan natin ng 0. So, bring down 0. 20 divided by 3 is equal to 6. 6 times 3 is equal to 18. 20 minus 18 is equal to 2. So, 0 ulit. Bring down 0. 20 divided by 3 is equal to 6. 6 times 3 is equal to 18. 20 minus 18 is equal to 2. So, dere-derecho pa rin siya. So, when we convert 5 thirds into decimal, we have 1.66. Then, maglagay tayo ng vinculum sa taas ni 66. So, therefore... 5 over thirds, when we convert it into decimal, we will have a repeating decimal. So, activity, determine if the following is a terminating or a repeating decimal. So, 1 fourths. Is this a terminating or repeating decimal? This is a terminating decimal. 2 thirds. Two-thirds is a repeating decimal. Six-ninths. Six-ninths is also a repeating decimal. Seven-tenths. This is a terminating decimal. So, thank you. I hope na meron kayong natutunan. I am your virtual teacher. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye!